Steve, the mother from Lisbon, which was the visiting team, is of Native American descent, and she says she felt disrespected on Friday. Meantime, tonight we spoke with several parents here, and while some of them also of Native American descent, and they say her accusations offend them. When no one is here to shame Native Americans, everyone is here to honor their strength and speed. I am proud to be a Wells warrior. A community rich in Native American history, surprised to hear recent accusations. It was horrible. Um, we had not only students, but the team doing a mock chant in a dance after the game. While my son, my Native American son, was on the field and my entire family was there. A Lisbon football player's mother feels the Warriors took it too far. These are adults that had their hand over their mouth making noise while we were walking out. I escorted my son from the field to the school. She says she didn't feel safe for her son. I was embarrassed. I was sad. I've had a couple of days to think about it. I wrote my letter. That letter sent to the superintendent now sending shockwaves through the Wells community. Absolutely insulted that somebody would think that anybody in this town would act that way. A tight knit community who says they're proud to showcase the Abenaki tribe and its ties to the school. So the act and idea of saying Wells is racist is as ridiculous as it is absurd. The Wells superintendent released a statement today saying that they are reviewing what happened at the football game. And as far as changing the mascot here, the mother says she's going to keep pushing for that change. Meantime, people we spoke with here tonight, it appears they will continue to push back, a story we will certainly continue to follow. For now, we're live in Wells. Kathleen Jordan, WMTW News 8.